living through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side. Hello and welcome. I am William Christian De La Cruz from the FSUU College of Law, and you are on the sunny side. This morning, we will talk about law at Father Saturnino Orios University, how FSUU shapes Urian lawyers, and basic things that every first-year law student must know about. Joining us live this morning are Attorney Marinelle June Paller. She is a graduate of the FSUU College of Law Class of 2019, and Miss Ayana Carmel Kitayin. Would you like to say hi to your friends? Sunny morning to everyone, especially to the aspiring lawyers who are watching right now. So today I will be sharing with you my journey in the College of Law, and I hope that um, my experience will encourage you or will be that uh, push that you needed to enroll. Ayana. Good morning also every to everyone who is watching uh, today and who is with us on the sunny side. Uh, whatever that we will be able to share today, I hope that um, we can also help in some ways of your decisions for becoming future lawyers. Hi to my friends also. Hi to Attorney Glenn Karampatana. Hi to our Dean of the College of Law, Attorney Rodney um, Ato, and to Commissioner Jose Fisarerity. Good morning. So good let's morning, begin. Attorney. Let us first talk about the enrollment requirements in the College of Law. What are the requirements for admission, Attorney? Okay, so since um, the fill set is um, still suspended, the first uh, step in enrolling is to take the entrance examination, FSU College of Law entrance examination. So I think um, it is uh, posted on your screen, the announcement for the entrance exam. So you need to set an appointment or a schedule with the guidance center. You need to text the number on your screen. Um, and then after that, um, you will be informed of the requirements that you need to bring for the exam. When you pass the exam, you will be informed uh, for the next uh, process. So the enrollment process in general will be posted in the FSUU page of the College of Law. So please follow the FSUU page uh, of the College of Law, even the FSUU page of, at uh, the FSUU page. And on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. It's FSUU Butuan City, comma, Philippines. Philippines. About PhilSat, uh, the Supreme Court on December in December 2019, declared Lab Memorandum Order Number no. Seven, Series of 2016, as unconstitutional for being ultra viris. Uh, we're no longer having filsat mm -hmm. because the Supreme Court said filsat is unconstitutional, specifically Lab Mo Number no. Seven, but not entirely filsat. Mm -hmm. To clarify, the Supreme Court said that filsat is a valid exercise of police power. However, what the Supreme Court said is unconstitutional is when Lab required law schools to adopt the 55% passing rate. Mm -hmm. So it violates mm -hmm. the principle of academic freedom. The Supreme Court said that it violates the freedom of law schools to determine for themselves who to admit to the mm -hmm. College of Law because it must be the law school who must Good. be allowed to admit. Yeah. But going back, Ayana, uh, how did you prepare for the entrance mm -hmm. examinations? What is the coverage of the entrance exam? So actually, in all honesty, I was not able to prepare for the <laughs> PhilSat <laughs> examination um, William, what I did was that um, be, prior to that, I was able to take the civil service examination and I actually made that as my preparation mm -hmm. na lang kumbaga. But um, for the coverage of the exam, the exam is composed of four topics. So you have um, communication and language mm -hmm. proficiency. You also have critical thinking and you also have verbal reasoning and also for quantitative uh, quantitative reasoning. Mm -hmm. But um, for those um, thinking of taking the PhilSat examination, kubaga, there is actually a website that provides for the uh, practice test of the PhilSat examination. So if you want to prepare for the PhilSat examination, you can download and take the practice test. Okay. Hi to Kier and Rams and to the first year law students. Hello, thank you for watching. Hello. Attorney, how did you prepare for the entrance examinations? Um, at that time, um, we still have no PhilSat. 
So um, <laughs> it's the LSQT or the Law School Qualifying Test. So lucky for me, as a psychology graduate, I know that um, standardized tests, just like the LSQT, requires um, general knowledge. So I don't need to study anything specific to law. Um, so in all honesty, I did not uh, prepare anything na, uh, like what Ayana did to study or, uh, or what Ayana suggested like to study um, or to have the like a reviewer. Mm -hmm. So my preparation focuses more on the physical and psychological well-being such that um, <clears throat> I intend to take the exam in good condition or in good shape that um, like um, I had a enough sleep the night before but you know the funny thing is when I had my schedule mm -hmm. it's actually the last schedule for the exam <laughs> for the exam <laughs> because um, because of some equally important activities that I also need to attend to mm -hmm. so um, I took my chance I took the exam you and that it. time <laughs> yeah and that time I'm not feeling well like I had this uh, fever and cough but I since since I really want to enroll in law school, mm -hmm. so that's that's why I took my chance, even if I'm not feeling good. I'd like to point this out. Yeah. Uh, during the Legal Education Summit of the Supreme Court, the regional orientation, uh, it was pointed out by law students that the entrance exam of their own law school appears to be more difficult than feels that. Mm -hmm. A lot of mm -hmm. students from different law schools in Mindanao said that their own entrance examination is more difficult mm -hmm. than feels that. Perhaps they were able to take both feels that and, and their uh, own entrance yeah. examination but anyway what made you ayana decide to become a lawyer did your family in any way force you into studying law school um so actually william i mm -hmm. noticed that there were a lot of misconceptions about the law and um many of those people who have been exploited do not actually know about their own rights mm -hmm. so i thought na what better way for me to um help these people to no longer have the misconceptions on law and um, to help them also assert their own rights than by studying law. And um, as for support, <laughs> my family it was actually the first uh, people na may nag-encourage sa ako. I told them about my plan to study law and they were actually the first people to encourage me to pursue it. Attorney? Um, as for me naman, <laughs> um, it is um, part of the generation on my mother's side that they have a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So before I graduated in college, it's your mission. Yeah, they're already <laughs> eyeing on me. That was in okay. 2011. But um, based on my initial assessment, um, I can see that I, I am not a. Uh, my personality is not that one of um, a lawyer in the making. So I said to myself, nga, I cannot be a lawyer. I will not be a lawyer. But, um, but so instead of enrolling in law school, you know, the pressure is also high for my family. So instead of enrolling, I look for a job. So come 2014, so that was three years after, um, I, I, when my, I know, when my, um, experiences with the society is, has already widened and the demands and pressure from my family is already, has already decreased. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's the time that I took a leap and I took the exam. I prayed for it actually. So, and it was given to me. So thank God. That's it. Thank God. <laughs> but unlike you, who's so ancestors. You, so okay. yeah, so if you ask me um, what made me decide to become a lawyer, I can say that it's the right time that has pushed me to become a lawyer. But unlike you, whose ancestors are all lawyers, <laughs> you do not have lawyers in the family. And so I believed or I thought I had to be one. Uh -huh. and just to add to what Ayana said earlier, uh, we need to encourage as many people mm. as what Dean Largo mm. said to learn the law. If mm. we truly want to give life to the provision in the civil yeah. code, that ignorance of the law excuses, excuses no, no one, one from compliance. Dear. So people should know the law. Mm -hmm. What is the best pre-law course if there is such a thing? Attorney. Um, I am a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. So, um, in my course, there is only one minor subject pertaining to law. So, I can say that um, there are other courses that has uh, a lot of law subjects like the Accountancy Program, the Business Ad, the Criminology, and Political Science. No? But when I enter law school, I can say that um, there is no best pre-law course. 
So remember that no best pre-law course because uh, no course is superior over the other. Exactly. And each course has its own focus. When you are in law school, right. everyone is, all is in equal footing. Mm. Exactly. Mm. We're all equal. <laughs> yeah, all yes. is in equal footing. So, um, although they may have an edge or an advantage, like they are familiar with the terms, you know, the jargon, and the cases of the Supreme Court. But again, um, in law school, um, it's a new way of teaching. So, it's a new way of learning. So, it's not a guarantee yes. that they, can, they will do good in law school. So just as no one is above the law, <laughs> mm -hmm. no one is above his or her yes. classmate yeah. yes, basing on true. the undergraduate mm -mm. degree. Actually, Ayana. I agree with what Attorney Marinel just uh, pointed out that when everyone enters law school, um, everybody is on equal footing. Mm -hmm. So um, although I do have to say that there are other um, undergraduate courses mm -hmm. that have basic law subjects, so particularly na mention any attorney, mm -hmm. um, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, um, you have an edge lang, an advantage over others simply because you know uh, some of the terms or concepts, so they become familiar. Mm -hmm. So pag about mo sa law school, uh, you already have a um, sort of uh, pre-knowledge on it. Mm -hmm. However, again, uh, this does not guarantee that just because you are a graduate of such undergraduate course, you are already excelling more over others. Okay. Because again, everybody is on equal footing. Mm -hmm. It all boils down sa imuhang discipline and how you carry yourself throughout your uh, law school journey. I'd like also to add, like mm -hmm. she said, na you are familiar with the terms. No? Yeah. We, we, we both said that. But um, there's also a disadvantage no, of being too familiar. Why? Because... Um, like what I've said, in law school, different way of teaching, so different way of learning. So it could be that um, uh, how you learn it in your undergrad may not be the same way mm -hmm. in how you learn it in the College of Law. That so in your right. application, so it really varies. So yeah, so even if you're familiar, again, it does not guarantee that you will do good in law school. Does one have to be intellectually superior in order to survive in law school? Very quickly, mm -hmm. Ayana. Uh, definitely not, mm -hmm. uh, William, because as I have mentioned earlier, what is if there is anything that should be required mm -hmm. of you when you enter law school, it's definitely that practice of discipline, mm -hmm. uh, perseverance, and patience when it comes to studying. And as um, Attorney also mentioned earlier, that um, if, for example, in your study habit, it always depends on what kind or what manner of studying do you prefer. Mm -hmm. So whatever works best for you, I think that that's what you should follow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let us talk about Latin honors, the school where you graduated mm -hmm. from in your undergrad. Do these things matter in the College of Law, Attorney? In the same way as being smart, um, Latin honors don't matter in law school. No? So what matters in law school is the perseverance, uh, exactly. the discipline, and the determination. Determination to achieve your goal. And that is to become a lawyer. So um, in law school, uh, law school doesn't care if you have a doctorate degree. That is right. Law sure. school doesn't care about your achievements. Uh, in the same way as law school doesn't care if you are a summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude. Exactly. Law, law school doesn't care if mm. a summa cum laude is tired. Oh, that is right. So, all is on equal footing. Mm -mm. In fact, in the classroom, it does not care if one is a regional director yeah. or a yeah. chief of office, exactly. etc. Mm -hmm. How did you prepare for law school, Ayana? For, let's talk about the first semester of your first year. What were your preparations? Um, so, actually, prior to that, I was able to ask an upperclassman. Um, I asked which subjects should um, I be reading in advance mm -hmm. or what books I should already have um, or which books ang prefer sa teachers to be used. So, um, in, in my case, uh, what I did prepare for first good kaysa criminal law mm -hmm. one because mm -hmm. uh, many of the upperclassmen in FSU College of Law um, uh, really told us that it is actually a difficult uh, one. But it actually is good no when there is that um, strictness because it helps to mold than you put in studying so 
Um, the, the 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 discipline is already there kung uh, baga ba. And for your answer, hello to I'd like to say hi to Dean Makarandang, our teacher in legal counseling and social responsibility. Thank you for watching, Mom. She is one of the best teachers yes. in law school. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Attorney Dean. Your Dean. answer morning. now, <laughs> Attorney. I would like to add to yeah, what, she what she said, said. about the. Because she segregated the criminal law. Hi, yeah. hi, hi attorney. attorney. If you're watching right now, <laughs> should uh, I say it? No. <laughs> okay. So um, I think, um, naman, with regards to the strictness, mm -hmm. like what he she mentioned, <laughs> I think um, it's commensurate to yes. the subject mm -mm. because the subject is a, a bar, bar subject. Yes. Yeah, that is exactly. And yeah, and studying criminal law is um, very exciting. No, you'll know if you will enroll. Yes. So yeah. Mm -mm. So. Yeah, going back <laughs> to my preparation. Anyway, um, since um, I mentioned earlier that I'm a psychology graduate, so I don't have any background about the law. So um, I did not make any preparation in all honesty. So I did not read in advance. I did not um, search for like cases by the Supreme Court. No, I did not do anything. My preparation is more on ma mind setting. No, I set my mind that um, uh, to acknowledge that uh, I have nothing in this field. I, I do not know a lot about in this field. So I need to be open. I need to be open um, to what is it that I'm gonna learn. Uh, and um, mind setting is very important because it, it, it jump starts me to have uh, an interest in reading. So yes, I am not into reading before I enter law school, <laughs> but I am encouraged and um, although I get inspired. intimidated, <laughs> yeah, inspired. Mm. Although I get intimidated by my classmates, like even on the first day of school or first day of class, they already have provisions of the and law. Notes. Yeah, notes, notes and provisions yes. of the law that they already Highlighted memorized. Books. Yeah, <laughs> they already have the books. <laughs> Ako, I don't even know what book to buy, no. So, but it's an advantage also. Nga, I didn't buy books yet. Um, uh, uh, I will be able to know what the teacher prefers. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, in that case, um, mind setting and um, acknowledging and accepting that this is not uh, that that I don't ha I don't know a lot about in this field. So by doing that, I was able to uh, open up uh, myself and able to accept what is what the challenges that is given to me. Hello to Ati Ren Ren, hello to Mom Marie Dad Sanchez, and hi to Sir Lorenzo Makasoko, the Assistant Regional Director of Deped Caraga. He told me he'll be watching today. We'll be right back. We'll pause for break. This is who we are. This is what we do. This is Father Saturnino or Yos University. of law. back on the sunny side you're still with me attorney marinel and ayana <laughs> Hello. now we'll take you to our law school experience mm -hmm. ayana how does it feel to be in law school like what is it like to be in law school and can you distinguish between your undergraduate classes on the one hand and your classes in the college of law how are they different um so uh william for me when i started sa law school so na mentioned earlier ni attorney marinel no na when you first enter the classroom, um, you're, you can see or you notice na some of your classmates have already prepared no na anasila notes. <laughs> the notes are even highlighted. Like it's re you can see that they are ready kumbaga. Um, some of them are also grouped discussing cases. But then um, your teacher arrives and then your uh, your professor arrives and everybody's seated. You can Dito ni woman realized that yes, everyone is still on equal footing because mm -hmm. in the presence of the professor, um, 
everybody just halts. Mm -hmm. So um, we start with a prayer and um, the teacher Diane Roll calls using the index card. So <laughs> in law school or maybe even perhaps undergraduate, uh, the professor has this style of um, randomly shuffling the index cards. Mm -hmm. So whoever is the lucky fellow na mabunutan sa imong professor. So for example, um, Mr. De La Cruz, can you discuss the case of Tanyada versus Tuvero? I have not read the case. <laughs> <laughs> so, Publication uh, of laws, Tanyada. <laughs> so, ikayana siya no, ang sa law school. But um, when I compare it to undergraduate, so being a, again a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, um, mas daghan or uh, more often um, we are na asa written lang yun. We don't have much oral recitations because. In law school, 80% uh, of the time, it's the student who does mm -hmm. the talking. So, uh, for example, if you discuss terms, concepts, or when you are um, uh, your task or assigned to discuss the case, uh, that's also in the case lang po, depending sa manner by which mm -hmm. your professors teach. Because some of the professors prefer lectures. So, in that case, it is your professor who does more of the talking. But more often good as I can observe there is oral recitation good and mm -hmm. um, don't worry because the oral recitation is actually a good venue mm -hmm. um, sa ako, like sa akong case um, good venue shot to help me improve my verbal communication yeah. skill because when you become a lawyer um, you have to get your points across mm -hmm. and um, that's very important Side. And it also boosts your confidence put when you get the hang of it. Kumbaga. Attorney, tell us about your law school experience. Mm. How's law school before? <laughs> <laughs> because you're now a lawyer. Yes, yes attorney. <laughs> law school is very challenging. Very challenging. No. Yeah, it's challenging, but it's exciting. Yes, yes no. very so exciting. Just what uh, Ayana said that um, there are index cards. No, index <laughs> cards will be uh, reshuffled. So, Every shuffle, uh, shuffle of the index card, um, you had you you will have your heart beat <laughs> faster. <laughs> so yeah, there was never a time when I entered the classroom, uh, relaxed and went out of the classroom re also relaxed. Uh, yeah, when I entered the classroom, relaxed, it's just I would really uh, exit on the classroom uh, tensed or anxious. No, it could be that I have a bad recitation, or it could be that. Um, I realized that there are a lot of uh, things that I did not really understand or uh, it could be that I realized that there are a lot of um, readings that I need to cope. But it's, uh, no, it's a matter of perspective really on how you see your situation. It's a matter of perspective that on how you can describe your situation. So if you had a seguro bad recitation, it's not a bad law school life. No, it's just a bad recitation. For How that, do you move forward from a bad recitation? Um, every bad recitation, I look at it as a motivation for mm -hmm. me to do good on the next recitation. So I, the, the very first time, dibdibun uh, siya. Like that's <laughs> yes. really normal. Dibdibun yes. siya <laughs> Even when you go home or gapay mo hunahuna. So have you ever when cried? You, yeah, when you yes. <laughs> when you lay down in your bed, morga pa naman na huna nga. Asa ka po ito na sa yup. Sana ko nagkamali, sir, ma'am. <laughs> oh, but um, but later on, uh, when you when you start to acknowledge that you have your lapses and start to accept that it's not all the time that you can answer the questions asked of mm -hmm. you, then that's the time that you will be able to move forward. So as for me, um, I do that in the succeeding uh, months or years. So I move forward by thinking that I can I, I won't be able to change that that, that bad recitation. So you choose to be on the sunny side. Yeah, yes. I, I, I always choose to be on the, the sunny, sunny side, side when I was in law school. Para yeah. less stress. Necessary. Uh, so yeah, um, I cannot change the bad recitation, but I can do more of the, the upcoming recitation. Yeah. So that's how I move forward. Before the next question, hello to Mom Zinaida Azura and hi to. Uh, Sir Vaughn Botali. Good Hi, morning. Ramzan. Now let's go to law school and the delivery of classes in the pre-COVID period mm -hmm. and now that there is COVID. Mm -hmm. Attorney. So during pre-COVID, during our time, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah um, we, have the, we had the Socratic method. 
Um, actually, the professors has... Tell us about the Socratic method. They have different ways of teaching. Mm -hmm. However, the common denominator is that the Socratic method. Um, they, there are, in law school, there are more questions asked yeah. and mm -hmm. less discussion. Exactly. No? So that's the Socratic method. So because we have the index card, it is uh, shuffled and then... Um, the lucky person, the lucky, <laughs> the lucky one, <laughs> will be called to answer the first question. So that's the that's the routine. Mm -hmm. you know? So you'll be asked uh, questions until the class is over. Mm -hmm. So there are professors that they um, they want to, um, siguro, um, inculcate to the student, or they want to know ba kung baga what 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 really have you learned? Mm -hmm. Like with in terms of um, concepts, yes, you already have that. But um, as to application, can you can you apply the concepts? Can you apply what you've learned? So in recitation, it's not um, objective questions. There are objective questions, but there are also um, analysis or case to case na case na questions. So that's the um, Socratic method. So you will be asked more questions. Um, so uh, previously we joke gani nga. Nga nung fresh graduate man ang tawag sa mo graduate sa College of Law nga wala may fresh nga mo graduate sa law school. <laughs> right, I'm fresh. So stressed. <laughs> I'm fresh. Na rush as a freshman. So freshman uh, enroll kay fresh pa. <laughs> and in recitations, right? There are certain teachers who would only be calling like one person or two persons mm. for two hours. Yeah. So you'll be standing for mm. two hours. But there are certain professors who will be calling the entire class. They were really so all of you get to your stand. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mag stand na to the point na kulang na lang maglupang hinirang. <laughs> what's happening now in law school? Uh, the so, COVID era. Mm -mm. Actually, um, William, we still have the oral recitation. In mm -hmm. um, ang nalahi lang is, of course, um, so in some of our classes, we still have the shuffling, but mm -hmm. instead of using index cards, uh, what we have is the wheel. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Yes, so <laughs> wheel. <I> will. Well, <laughs> the wheel yeah. of fortune. So um, everybody's name is written sa wheel of fortune, Dio of pala. course. And mm -hmm. unlike sa index cards, I was also able to try prior to COVID, um, katong index cards. Mm -hmm. At least when uh, sa index cards, if for example you've already been called, um, masat aside yung card. Yeah. So oh, okay. unlike sa wheel of fortune. Um, there could be times na you can be called once, mm -hmm. twice, mm -hmm. even more than twice um, sa Wheel of Fortune. So, depende rin po na siya. Um, but also, there are other teachers who still use the um, oh, index cards. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what attorney Maria said, um, kung lucky fellow ka, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're and, the lucky one. Uh, you're yeah. the lucky one, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, you're meant to stand on that day. <laughs> Uh, there are also the times is yours. that the uh, wala wala mo oral recitation. What you have is that your teachers would leave assignments, yeah. readings. Uh, uh, yes, readings, and um, we will, which will then be discussed mm -hmm. on uh, the next meeting. Uh, yes, but yeah. don't get me wrong, ha. There are professors who would really discuss. It's yes. just that. Yeah, that's right. Yes. it's just mm -hmm. that there are more questions asked than the mm -hmm. discussion. Mm -hmm. They yes, ask you true. more than they feed yeah. you with answers. Yeah, yeah, Unlike yes. in undergrad, mm -hmm. right? You're fed more than you're yes. asked. But here in law school, you're asked more than you're yeah. fed. fed. <laughs> because it is presumed that you've read the assignment. Exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. it's your responsibility, <laughs> Pod. But uh, rest assured that in law school, specifically in FSUU, we have great professors. Yeah. You have yes. judges, you mm -hmm. have prosecutors, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. a counselor, mm -hmm. what else? You have lawyers from government, mm -hmm. etc. So they're really competent mm -hmm. to teach the subject. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about uh, your sacrifices in law school, financially, emotionally, mentally, etc. Attorney, first. Uh, sacrifices. Um, financially, books are really, <laughs> really <laughs> mahal. <laughs> mahal get expensive ang books. Oh, expensive ang, ang books, but you can borrow from the library, mm -hmm. But But um, I suggest nga you you do buy your book good. Okay, it will be of use sa when you will go to fourth year na for review as well as um, when you will be studying for the bar and when you will become a lawyer. Magamit mo siya because you already have your notes there. So financially, um, since I am a working student, yeah. so I have my work. I can I uh, provide for <laughs> my uh, my tuition, provide for my books. No, um, 
mentally and emotionally uh, <laughs> very challenging. That's your call. Yeah. Although I'm a guidance counselor, yeah, you I work. Can't I work, advise I work as a guidance counselor. Yeah, I I I cannot do self talk. Correct. Yeah, and um, siguro, um mentally and emotionally it connects kasi. Eh. So like what I've said, how do I move forward? That's that's how I do it. Like I acknowledge that I have lapses. I acknowledge that uh, I am do more. Yeah, <laughs> I acknowledge that I I need to I need to cope with the demands, and then right. I accept it. So recognize mm, it. Yeah, I acknowledge and then I accept it. So <laughs> guidance, kay, guidance yeah. counselor, guidance counselor, approach, no. She okay. was our guidance counselor for your information. <laughs> but, so. <laughs> So in that case, um, challenging sha still challenging sha for me, yeah. challenging for me. But um, I, siguro ang advantage lang is um, uh, na lang ko mga coping mechanisms na mm -hmm. I've already that I I I I'm already applying. So I was able to manage it. Na good. So what about other sacrifices like social life, social relationships? Life. Na I've and been telling else? you baya na I've been telling you baya nga. <laughs> Um, yeah, we we can sacrifice no our social life, mm -hmm. but we need not stop our routine before going to. Does Marinel go to the beach? Yes, I go to the <laughs> beach. I go. I watch the um, a movie in the cinema, like last full show or during the weekend. Cool. Yeah, I attend family gatherings. It's just that no limitation. The conclusion is you have a life. Yeah, mm. yeah, we should have a life. Yeah. It's not a requirement that you surrender your life before you go to law school. <laughs> <laughs> you still need to have a life. Kay, in, in case of difficulties in law school, you you have someone or something mm -mm. which you can run to. If you have difficulties, you can go to your friends, di ba? Um, or you, right. you can do things that you love in order for you to relax. Kay, if you continue reading, even if you're unproductive... Don't work. Yeah. Yes. So you need to stop, take a breather, mm -mm. and then go back. It won't work because your brain will not cooperate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh. Ayana. Mm -hmm. Burnt I'd, out. Just to add, uh, sa giyo ni Atorini, no, na you don't have to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, to all those who are actually planning, uh, don't be, do not have that misconception of uh, that if you enter law school, you will no longer have a social mm -hmm. life. You will still have that. Um, but yes, you have to limit, kumbaga, the time mm -hmm. because uh, you have to have that also uh, time management nimo um, when you study or enter law school but it does not in any way um, sever your ties or relationships <laughs> your or um, in any life. way stop you from I don't know you're <laughs> the guidance counselor you're supposed to advise uh, <laughs> yes. uh, by the way to our viewers online you may comment your questions on our Facebook page mm -hmm. again it's FSU Butuan City Philippines uh, to my friends who are texting I cannot reply but go to FSU Butuan City Philippines. And to those already watching, just comment your questions. Because ba William, do you agree that the law is a jealous mistress? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but I will not explain. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> Let us talk about balancing mm. law and work. Okay. Is it possible for a law student to work at the same time? Yes. Ayana. Yes, it's it's very much possible. Um, again, as I've already mentioned, that you need to have uh, proper or good time management. So, um, in my case... But that is so broad. What is time management? How do you manage your time? Yes. Let's be more specific. Okay. Uh, so, what I do is that I have this list of <laughs> activities. <laughs> so, um, uh, average student, uh, in my case, what I do is I have this list of mm -hmm. activities and then um, uh, in my list, I write down uh, the time that it takes me to... <laughs> Per activity. Take. Yes, per activity. The, mm -hmm. uh, but that works for me. Huh? That's yeah. mm -hmm. only if that also works for you. But um, and then I have a specific order of which activity should I, should I do first. But of course, no, not all of the plans that I make in my list I'm able to follow through and through. So what I did to compensate is that um, I try, like at least seventy percent of mm -hmm. the activities in mm -hmm. my list I finish it within the day and if not I'll try to finish that the next day or perhaps if not pagyud at least man lang within the same week. What about you attorney? How do you balance mm -hmm. work and law school? Yeah, since um, I am a working student no, I work in the office eight to five. So if I have vacant time 
uh, I read my notes or scan my notes or if the workload is not that much for the day so I will have the time to um, siguro look at my book but um, 8 to 5 so to have a picture you know of my routine uh, 8 to 5 office office so 5 p.m. I'm already at the library at, uh, I can scan my notes before the start of the class the start of the recitation so I will be refreshed refreshed now but anyway Gal is saying hi hi mom so my my uh, no, workmates are very supportive of very supportive yeah <laughs> the FSU community is yeah. very supportive so um, going back no, at 5.30 start of the class 5.30 to 9.30 so at 9 p.m. after yeah 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. after 9.30 p.m. Uh, that's the time when I get to study for the uh, following day. That's the time yeah. I see you in Duncan. Yeah, right? that's the time where I get to study for, <laughs> the, for my subject for the following day. So, me and my classmates go to Dunkin' Donuts. It's either that um, we eat our dinner first or we eat in sa Dunkin' along yeah. with our coffee. And then 9.30, so siguro mga 10 na na, kayo mag-storya yeah. pa may about what happened during the recitation. <laughs> oh, we will discuss. Yeah, happens. we will discuss mm -hmm. so that we will process our emotions and we will not bring it at home. So we leave it at Duncan. Duncan is a... Uh, uh, nice. <laughs> safe haven. Yeah, safe haven. So um, at 9, uh, at 9.30, mga 10 na may makastart siguro we Until? study. Until 11. That's an hour. 11 or 11.30. And, uh, mm -hmm. 11 or 11.30. Do you study at if, home? No, I don't. After 11 p.m.? No. Uh, home is a place where I relax. Mm -hmm. So I don't study at home. And there are a lot of distractions at home. So I don't study at home. Um, so my reading for that night is good for the following day. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the, the next week, my advanced curve reading on a Saturday and a Sunday. On a Saturday and Sunday, um, I schedule my study time from lunch or 10 a.m. or lunch to 7. No, but there are a lot of breaks within. So Saturday and Sunday. If I have um, siguro, uh, family gatherings that I need to attend to, either on the Sunday or the Saturday, um, ako siyang i-extend akong study time from di ba, 7 man to mag-end. Makaabot ko og mga 10 or 11. So, uh, Compensate gahapon for the time. Actually, wala na change sa kayo sa akong routine. Wow. Amazing. Like, it's just that, gi add na ko ang study From time. undergrad. Yeah, it's just so that, that gi add na ko. In law school. <laughs> gi add I'm na ko ang, ano, gi add lang na ko ang study time. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, masat imong mind nga nagid ka study time. Mm -mm. Whatever may happen during the day, mo study gid ka. Because nakaset right. na ka nga mag study ka. It's about discipline. Yeah, yes. discipline and determination. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. Because sometimes there is no more inspiration. What is left uh, is your discipline, right? Let and us be your, more, and let your us be will. more specific. Yeah, you need and your will. law school. Let us be more specific with your study habits. Okay. How do you read the law? How do you understand the law? I know our viewers want to know this or want to hear from okay. you guys. Is it really necessary that you memorize the text of the law? No. How is that? Uh, how do you do it? No, it's not necessary that you memorize everything. Mm -hmm. Even when you will be taking the bar, you cannot. You can, <laughs> you can, <laughs> if this is your planned readings, uh -oh. Uh -oh, you, you, you cannot um, read all of them good. Mm -hmm. So, um, in studying, what I do is highlight. No, but but the uh, but uh, disclaimer. What may be what may be applicable to me may not be applicable yeah. to you. No, yes. so kung unsa ang imuhang comfortable to do, then do it. So for me, highlighting with my friends, highlighting, <laughs> and then di na mo pansin na we're highlighting everything. Yeah, the entire book has been <laughs> oh, highlighted. But anyway, highlighting, and then <laughs> I, uh, despite that, I'm also having my uh, written notes. Mm -mm. So. Mm -hmm. Written notes is a summary of the book, so I, right. I write in order for me to, to, siguro to be familiarized with the terms or the, the law. So I highlight, I study, and then case. Bangga siya sa case for application. It's really more important to understand the law, but if you go to the classroom mm -hmm. and you're asked what comprises <laughs> the national territory in <laughs> Article <laughs> 1 of yes. the Constitution mm -hmm. and you paraphrase the law, 
Because Sometimes, in the classroom, they will tell you, did you write the law? <laughs> right? Because That's in the classroom, the there's a lot of pressure. No, there's a lot of you. pressure. There's other external factors mm -hmm. that can affect you during your recitation. Yeah. So although you've memorized it, and then when you when you were called, you cannot answer because of the pressure, banga. Like especially if you're the first, the lucky yeah. one. The <laughs> so lucky one. the tense is you know very high. Then you'll be told, did you write the law? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, ma I, did I did in my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did in your notebook. <laughs> Ayana, your study habits. Just to add on, um, yeah. um, before I used to have this concept na bab dapat uh, word for word gidi mo uh, yeah. okay. uh, but then uh, one of my um, professors is Calgiritan told us that um, if you cannot memorize the God law bless him. if you cannot memorize the law uh, the best way is to understand it yeah. so even if <laughs> gi paraphrase ni mo ang law <laughs> <laughs> gi paraphrase ni mo ang law it's the 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 main idea of the law is there so uh -huh. even if you don't get a uh, hundred percent sa imong answer, you get a merit because um, yeah. you mm -hmm. understand it. So you get five over ten. That's the merit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at no, least fifty percent. Yes, but <laughs> if you really, if you also cannot understand it, ha, um, better memorize it. <laughs> <laughs> There's safe advice. Safe <laughs> advice. <laughs> safe <laughs> advice. Uh, yes. Oh, but the problem mm -hmm. in memorizing is that if you are asked a lot of supporting questions, ah, yes. no, mm -mm. that's correct. Mm -hmm. so so when, yeah, I I was asked by my classmate, did you memorize this provision? Yes. yes. Did you understand? No. no. I just have to memorize. <laughs> True. Because you'll be asked in number yes. one, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but if in case of application, you will be having a hard yes. time. So read mm. cases, good guys, mm -hmm. because that's where you find the application of the law. Yeah, mm -hmm. But in reality, the text of the law, the cases decided mm -hmm. by the Supreme Court are mm -hmm. too vol volu voluminous, right? <laughs> voluminous. Too voluminous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. long cases, uh -huh. right? So and that's sometimes... Why the students will simply resort into case digests. Case digest. <laughs> and these digests are just prepared by other law students. Yeah. And so you fail in the recitation. But in all honesty, kami, yeah, we also rely on case digests. That's digest. a fact, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a fact. If you can't fact. read everything. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But um, it's just that if in the case digest, na yung mga confusion, right. cross-reference with yeah. the full text. Full text. Mm -hmm. So in which case, it's better you read the full text na lang. That is right. Kaysa mag-cross-reference ka. <laughs> oh, diba? Just Ilong read time. the important facts, yeah. right? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk yes, about the activities in law school aside from recitations, examinations, class requirements. Are there extracurricular activities? I'd like to ask you first about ULAP. What mm -hmm. were the activities of the Orient Legal Assistance Program during your time as a law student? Uh, during our time, uh, the birth of ULAP man to siya. Yeah. Oh, diba? <laughs> so, diba? Murag, murag and by the way, ta, by the way ULAP was recognized by in one of the seminars, in the many seminars uh -huh. I attended, as one of the best law clinics in oh. the country, right? No mm -hmm. less than Theodorte of the Supreme Court mm -hmm. before said yes. that. Mm -hmm. And Chief Justice Persimmon said that too. Mm -hmm. So at back. that time, we had a lot of um, seminars and orientations um, pertaining to IPs, mm -hmm. more indigenous people. So we uh, like uh, seminar uh, had orientation with regards to the rights. We conducted seminar workshops for them to understand their rights. And I remember we, we also have the community immersion. So we were assigned on an area na, na IPs, and then um, we 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 sleep there overnight, you no, know, just to observe their long tribal ways. Mm -mm. You no, know. and um, aside from that. Ako personally, um, through ULAP, um, I, when I was still fourth year student, yeah. ata, so that's um, I, I was able to um, to go to court. When you encouraged me to be president, yeah. you were fourth year. Uh, <laughs> I was I was able to go to court uh, uh, through ULAP, no, with Attorney T and Attorney Marge, Marge as yeah. our supervising lawyer. So we had a case, uh, and we were able to present our witnesses, and then. Uh, up to the disposition of the case. So, it's a very good experience for me and um, Ronel, Attorney Ronel also. So, it's a very good experience for us because we're able to see the processes no, support before we graduate. That is right. So, you need that. Right? Yeah. ULAP uh, is a really great avenue yeah. 
to learn uh, or to experience the practice of law. Especially now in the advent of the revised law student practice rule mm -hmm. under Rule 138A, the Supreme yeah. Court already allows law students to engage in the limited practice of law, mm -hmm. right? Can you talk about Levels 1 and 2 certification, Ayana, very, very quickly? So very quickly lang, um, yeah. well, uh, sa Level 1 certification, so these students can actually um, as mag-give sila og ilang advices but of course but this is with the supervision. supervision of the supervising yeah. lawyer because um, since these are still students mm -hmm. of course no you can they cannot give the legal advice yeah. no um, but in order for you to um, have the certification like for example sa level 1 um, all of your first year subjects dapat na complete na ninyo and as for the level uh, level 2 certification um, you have to have at least finished the um, Third first year subjects. First year subjects, for of course, one. for, for mm -hmm. level one. And yeah. then for the level two is third year, uh, third year on a student. So, yes. And actually, if um, that is to be clarified, that's actually um, um, can be seen in the revised rule, no? Rule 138-A, yeah. which mm -hmm. is the revised student practice rule. And to add, mm -hmm. no, we have a lot of activities in the College of Law. Uh, during my time mm -hmm. as president in 2019, mm -hmm. uh, we implemented Project Lipad. It means literacy paglaom sa sensadong dakbayan with the city government of mm -hmm. Butuan and the Department of Education Division of Butuan City. We went to the margins of Butuan City, the different barangays. We implemented it in eight clusters. Mm -hmm. So we partnered with IBP. It was a good opportunity because the law dean was at the same time the IBP, the IBP president. president. So we had yes. volunteers, lawyers, and we had law student volunteers too. And we had that with teachers, and so we brought the law there. Mm -hmm. We brought the law to the barangays mm -hmm. in Butuan City. Mm -hmm. That's what, that was on December, uh, November twenty, November 16, 2019. I will not forget that because it's the birthday of Glenn Karampatana <laughs> until December 2019. And in the advent of COVID, uh, I think that was June 2020, mm -hmm. uh, we implemented Balaod webinar series. Mm -hmm. Balaod meant broadening access to law for that all was. through online distance That's education uh, since we cannot deliver the law physically or on site so we had to deliver it online mm -hmm. so we partnered with the same people ibp fsuu city government lab even alsp the association of law Oscars. students of the philippines mm -hmm. among others for that particular program anything you'd like to add in study habits study habits <laughs> Um, activities in law school. Activities in law school. Uh, <laughs> ULAP, like what I've said, ULAP is really a great avenue. Yeah. So, for some students, this is the reality, Mangol. For some students, now they will say that um, ULAP is an additional task. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, but the that's, reality. Study, that's part of the study habit, study. right? Because yeah. you get yeah. to apply yeah. the law mm -mm. for ULAP, yeah. mm -mm. yeah. right? Uh -oh. So, they would say that um, ULAP is an additional task. But yeah. I tell you, ULAP is a good venue exactly. wherein you can you can um, explore the yeah. practice of law. Because mm -hmm. that's part of the entire mm -hmm. studying, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You get to apply the law better when you go to the margins yeah. and apply the law. Mm -hmm. You get to learn the law in the grand manner. You will have a picture yeah. of how you will. We'll pause for break and we'll be right back.
We're back. You're still on the sunny side with William, Marinelle, and Ayana. Uh, let's talk about the performance of the FSUU College of Law in the bar examinations. Mm -hmm. How have we been performing in the previous bar exams, Ayana? Um, so, in the previous bar exam, particularly the 2019 bar examinations, Their batch. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> Attorney Marinelle's uh, batch, um, FSUU actually fared very good. Uh, well, in fact, um, <laughs> in, <laughs> in uh, the the ranking of the uh, law schools all, all over the Philippines, no, mm. uh, we have um, four law schools having fewer than sixty three examinees. For the first time, bar exam takers, um, Father Saturnino Orios University actually ranked sixth. And as for the all bar exam takers. Uh, for again law schools who have uh, fewer than 63 examinees we ranked 10th so yeah, that's great mm. the entire mm. country right? yes all over that the means philippines a lot. yes we were recognized by the legal education, education board, board because mm -mm. of that your batchmates how many were you when you talked to you and you took the bar examinations i, I think around 10 more right? than more than 10 or around yeah. that number uh, 10 uh, and 70 plus percent plus, yeah. passing rate. Right? 70 percent. Uh, there's a question from our viewer. Hi to Patrick Pohas. Uh, he was asking Hi. about your most unforgettable experience as a first year <laughs> law student. Attorney Marinel. Most unforgettable yeah. experience. Um, I think the recitations, the... the to one, if you were to answer one most unforgettable experience, ah, okay. you really answer. cannot forget. Uh, the first day, my first day in political law subject. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was asked, why do you want to, uh, why are you here? The question is, why are you here? So, why are you here? Why so, were you so, there? Why so were my, you there? So, my answer, because, because nga, I don't know anything. So, my answer is, because I want to become a lawyer. See, <laughs> direct and concise. I want to become a lawyer. So, the professor told me nga, of course, because if you want to become a doctor, you're not here. Correct. So, <laughs> you see. He was just so, trying to intimidate yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I didn't mind him. So, I just stand on my ground and then he asked me for an explanation. That's why I and want to become a lawyer. Yeah. You respectfully <laughs> complied. Yeah, but then, but, but my classmates laughed when I said that I want to become a lawyer and the professor replied, uh, that of course, if you do, if you want to be a doctor, you're not, you you should not be here. So my <laughs> classmates laugh. So I was like, how oh, are you laughing? Of course, <laughs> I want to become a lawyer. That's why I'm here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and that's basic logic. <laughs> yeah, and I cannot forget that because maybe that that uh, that means something. Yeah. <laughs> my answer means something. It means <laughs> something for your ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's my most unforgettable experience. Ah, another one. Yes. <laughs> another one that is. I failed in an exam. I think and? that's the prelim examination. And my professor told me that um, if this will be your performance, then you will not be a lawyer. Hi, sir. <laughs> so what happened? So how did you move forward? How did Marinelle rise? Above again, as the I said, as I said, um, uh, I motivated myself. So I did good in the final exam. I think because I passed the subject. Mm -hmm. mm. Ayana. Just um, very quickly, your most unforgettable experience last year, because you're a second year. Um, then my most unforgettable, ah, uh, definitely my most unforgettable was also similar to the case ni mm -hmm. attorney when um, I, our first meeting sa persons and family relations. It's um, the first subject, right? Yes, yes. And um, I was asked on the rule on general, I in case of conflict between rule, uh, general, general law and, and special, special law. law. So, um, at that time, uh, it's not an excuse, ha, because um, we traveled <laughs> to work. And <laughs> so, I was, I, I even brought all of my books, pagid, but I was not able to finish up to that. But, oh, okay. um, of course, I was the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> I was chosen and um, my attorney, uh, attorney, rather, asked me the question and I was unable to answer. But, that was what helped me to um, really continue pa ba nga mm -hmm. if, if I think that this, I'm not confident enough to go inside the classroom, I should prepare good. Preparation before. is key. Yes. So regardless of uh, the, ano, the circumstances during the day, you have to 
try yeah. Japan. And you shouldn't dwell too much on mm -hmm. that because it will affect the rest of your uh, performance. Mm -hmm. Hello to Arch or Arc or Architect. He would like to know what is the most challenging part of law school? Attorney. Yeah. For me, the most challenging part is how you manage your time, mm -hmm. really. How you manage your time to cope with the demands of the readings, the recitation, the exam. You have a work, you have a family, and you have law school. So how do you make time for each part? No? And how, in, in terms of law school, uh, it's really big na on how you would manage it. Napakai family, napakai work. Work, work. Yes. Oh, napakai mm -hmm. social life. So and you forgot something. Your love life. Yeah. Oh. Right. So, so yeah. yeah. So that's the that's the most challenging. Uh, mm -hmm. ever since good time management is a challenge. No, Correct. even in your undergraduate na course, I think it's also Needed. a challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So no, I think nobody can perfect managing their time, but um, one can ma one can um, properly manage it. Mm -hmm. No, so that's the most challenging. Most for challenging me. part. Mm -mm. Uh, attorney, what is the greatest lesson that the FSU College of Law has taught you? Okay. Uh, the first and foremost, I'm very thankful with the FSU College of Law for the knowledge no, that I have gained. Um, the lesson is that um, I was, I can say that I was humbled no, in dealing with people because since we have ULAP and of course with uh, the College of Law, we were... Uh, taught how to deal uh, with differences or conflicts in a uh, conflict-sensitive and transformative way. So I was able to bring that with me um, when I took the bar and when I become a lawyer. So in every dealing with my clients, I, I consider the conflict-sensitive and conflict-transformative way in resolving conflicts. So uh, there I learned that um, not all cases are one in court. Do you still have, there's a question. What? Do you still <laughs> have there's study time? Do you still have baby time? Of course. Of course. And there are pieces of evidence on Facebook. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my, my baby goes with me in my study time. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh -uh. So he's very supportive Always. with me. Yeah. And you can uh, check her Facebook. And, and he do not, Kana lang yun ang nakanais is he do not demand much time from me because he understand, no, where I am and what I'm doing. So to everyone who wants to study law, to everyone interested in studying law, we invite you to enroll in the FSU College of Law. I tell you, FSU College of Law is one of the best institutions teaching law in the country. One example is I have a scholarship from the Foundation for Liberty and Prosperity. Uh, the selection committee is the Supreme Court, headed by the Chief Justice, and FSUU is one of the 30, no, only mm -hmm. 30 law schools in the entire country, country. whose mm -hmm. law students can, you know, apply for that scholarship program. No, there are more than a hundred law schools in the country, but the Foundation for Liberty and Prosperity, in partnership with the Tanyan K Foundation of the Lusitan Group of Companies and the Supreme Court, and the Philippine Association of Law Schools, chose FSUU, no. It's one of the 30 law schools, if I'm not mistaken. And there is a last question from Vaughn. Hello, Vaughn from the DSA. <laughs> Hi to Mom Zen, your mom. <laughs> How many cases do, do we, we have, have to, to digest, digest in, in one, one subject, subject per meeting? One Ayana. Uh, <laughs> you can digest as much as or five cases have for one subject per meeting, but um, although property requires 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is not to intimidate you, ha. But yeah. to be honest as yeah. well, there Ayana are... Ayana is lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but more than 50% of the time, no, you have to... Um, there's not only one topic mm. that will be discussed. So per topic, there is always a case rela related to the topic. So mm -hmm. um, some, sometimes or more often, yeah. your cases per topic is... Uh, supposing you have at least... 10 or 5 or okay. let's, let's say 5 so um, you have 10 topics for the entire meeting so that's like at least 50 <laughs> na very conservative yes, but, five. <laughs> um, I have a tip for that lang na do not forego good your sleep in my case yeah. lang ha na mm -hmm. um, before I used mm -hmm. to forego sleep so that I could cover as much as I can the, uh, the cases that are assigned to us but then I realized that I was more unproductive when I did that. And 
um, one of the things that will require you to better understand the cases that you read is a good condition of the mind and you get that by getting enough rest so yeah. rest right. pod quantity mm -hmm. is not better than quality yeah and yes. to add uh, there are really times when you can't finish all the assignments <laughs> True. like for instance when i was in first year i was asked to digest 60 cases and for the entire night till morning yes. i can only mm -hmm. read and digest 30 cases so that's like half mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the assignments i was just praying that uh, i'll be asked of the cases because <laughs> you know the cases that i was able to digest for despite the challenges no um always remember to do self-care mental <laughs> health care yes mm -hmm. it's, that's really very important, important. Mm -hmm. uh to add lang with regards to the digest no it's better that you digest the cases in advance you will be given the syllabus, syllabus no at the, On start. the oh, yeah on the first meeting so you'll have a list of cases you can digest it ahead of time so that um did you come uh, when during sa class ba no you cannot say nga ay wala ko niabot diri ay napuan but the syllabus is in your hands already mm -hmm. so no reason not to comply with the digest ignorance so once yeah. again uh, to everyone who, inten who intends to enroll in the fsu college of law uh, the administration of the entrance examinations is currently Ongoing, we'll flash the schedule on the screen. Yeah. Uh, Mama Marinel? Um, entrance exam schedule will start on, uh, yeah, started. has just started. Mm -mm. April, April 13, 2021, so every Saturday. So for uh, this month, we were already every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And for pre registration, you may contact 0951 2504 or you may contact uh, the FSU Guidance Center or the FSU College of Law page. Reminders, no walk-ins. Schedule your appointment. Yeah. Again, no walk-ins. Okay? Mm -mm. Just text the number. And? And uh, every Friday <laughs> at 4 p.m., we will have uh, Coffee and Conversation, Coffee Vibes Friday. That's so bring your own mug. Uh, <laughs> just visit the FSU Calf Garden. And? The examination schedule for college will be on May 17, that's Monday, yes. 18, mm -hmm. 20, and 21. 21. And for graduate school, that's on May 22 to 23. 23. Okay. okay. And tomorrow is, Ayana, uh -huh. what is happening tomorrow? So, okay. to, yeah, tomorrow is a holiday. So by virtue of proclamation number 1142, May 13, tomorrow, Thursday, is declared as a regular holiday um, in observance of Adolf Hitler or the Feast of Ramadan. So it's a day for our um, Muslim teacher, uh, brothers, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. So, so no so classes, no and, classes and no office transactions, okay? And... We are inviting Urians to participate in this webinar of Francis Kong. It's on winning disciplines for success. Mm -hmm. It will be on May 15 via Zoom. <laughs> okay. And finally, what does Marinel June Paller want to tell every aspiring law student? Your piece of advice. Okay. Um, studying the law is fun and exciting. I assure you, it's really fun. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> Very fun and <laughs> exciting. So let's stop the let's stop the notion that the law is a loop of struggles and disappointments. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it it is challenging. Yes, it will challenge you. But remember that um, studying the law or becoming a lawyer is not a race. It is a marathon. So take one step at a time. Do it at your own pace. When you're inside law school, um, do not seek for competition. Mm -mm. No? Yeah. Do not seek for competition. That's my advice. No? Don't look at me. I did not compete. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Just kidding. And, uh, <laughs> and again, um, uh, you, you need not stop your routine. Mm -hmm. no? The routine that you had before you enter law school. But you should have your limitations. Okay. So um, if you're wondering... Uh, what is it in store for you in law school? Enroll now. No, enroll yeah. now. Yeah, it's fun and exciting. So enroll so that you will know, you will explore, and you will discover what's in law school. Would you like to say hi to anyone before we end? Oh, so I would like to say hi to my workmates. Hi to the, to my um, guidelines office family in FSU. Hello, guys. Welcome to my vlog. Hi. Um, to my family, hello. To my friends, hello. Ayana. I would like to say hi to uh, the...
co uh, the Dean of the College of Law. Hello, good morning, Attorney Rodney C. Ato. Hello, Dean. Good morning to all of our professors for this semester. I would like to say good morning again, Attorney Dean, Attorney Maniego, Attorney Udarbe, Attorney, um, Attorney Morcilia. Yes, and um, to my friends, uh, my CLAG family, hi. To my, of course, to my family who are very supportive, good all the time. Thank you for always being with me. Hi to my mom, Annabelle, and to my father, William, watching, and Prince, my brother. It has been a very, very challenging <laughs> year for all of us. We continue to face a yeah. debilitating and a destabilizing pandemic, but we guys have to always choose to be on the sunny side. This has been William with Ayana and Marinelle Junpaler saying thank you for watching. Thank, thank you. you and keep safe 